Hello everyone, today we will learn how to create HubSpot contacts from new customers on Stripe. So whenever a new customer or a contact is created on Stripe, you want to add the same customer in HubSpot CRM as well. So rather than manually adding customers at both the places, you can create an automation with the help of Pabli Connect. We will learn how to create this integration where our trigger will be the new contact added in Stripe and our action will be the same contact created or updated in your HubSpot. Let us learn how to do it. So let us learn how you can integrate Stripe and HubSpot in such a way that whenever a new customer or a contact is created over here in Stripe, then the same customer can be created in your HubSpot account as well. So we can create an automation for this with the help of Pabli over here. Let us quickly sign in into our account and then I will reach this page where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. And you can see Pabli Connect over here. This is the software we are going to use to create the automation today. Click on access now. And then when you reach here, you can see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. You have to click this button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as create HubSpot contacts from new customers in Stripe. Now click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you. As you can see on your screen, there are two boxes. One has trigger written over it and the other has action. Now the trigger means when this happens, which means that you're going to choose an application over here, which will be called the trigger application. So an event will take place in this application or you're going to do something manually, which will trigger this workflow. And then the action application will perform the assigned action. So for this workflow, our trigger application is Stripe because when a new customer will be created in Stripe, then automatically the action application that will be HubSpot will create a contact with the same information that was in Stripe. So the trigger event is new customer. Once you do this, Pabli Connect provides you a webhook URL, which you are going to use to connect your Pabli Connect and Stripe account so that Pabli Connect has access to the details that are added in Stripe as a new customer. So what you have to do is go to dashboards webhook setting section and then let us follow these instructions. So here you have developers where you can see webhooks. When you reach webhooks, you have to click on add endpoint. Now when you reach here, you have to enter the URL over here. So copy this webhook from here and paste it right here in the endpoint URL. Then add a description if you want and then select event. Select event is going to be customer created. So you can just type and search it's customer created. Select this event and click on add events. Add endpoint and that's how the webhook is used see it's done okay it's enabled so when you go back you can see that over here it's waiting for a webhook response which means now it is waiting for a new customer to be created so let us quickly create a new customer go to customers and click on this add customer purple icon over here create a new customer i've entered the name the email address and then the description right here so the description, you can have the mobile number with the country code. So I am adding the country code of my area. You have to enter yours. And then this is the dummy contact detail. Click on add customer. And as soon as you click on add customer, you'll see that you will receive a response right here. See, it's here. First of all, the type is customer created. Then you have the name. Okay. And the email address and the description. So when you're done with this, you have to add these details in your action application that is going to be HubSpot. But remember one thing, when you add or create a contact in HubSpot, you have to enter the first and last name separately. For that, you have to add a text formatter as your first action application here so that you can split the name into two. So you're going to use for that split text. Connect. Now text formatter is a feature inside Pabli itself. So there is no separate way of connecting. First of all, you have to map the data but which you need to split. So mapping is basically using the information from the prior application or prior step to enter into the action or the next step. So either you can search it over here or they give you this drop down menu of the previous step. So here you can find the name. You want to split the name into first and second half. So the separator is none other than space. So re read what's written over here for space as a separator, you have to use this thing. So you can just copy it right from here and paste it in the field, which means that you are, the space in between both of them is the separator. And what segment you want, you want all segment. You want the first part also and the second part also. Click on save and send test request and see it's split. Save this step 
एंड नाउ वील मूव अहेड टू आर लास्ट डेस्टिनेशन आर एक्शन एप्लीकेशन दैट इज हब स्पॉट सिलेक्ट हब स्पॉट सी आर एम एज योर एक्शन एप्लीकेशन दी इवेंट विल बी टू क्रिएट अ कॉन्टैक्ट कनेक्ट योर एप्लीकेशन एड न्यू कनेक्शन कनेक्ट विद हब स्पॉट सी आर एम एंड देन दे विल प्रोवाइड यू टू थ्री अकाउंट इन साइड वन होल अकाउंट यू हेफ टू चूज द वन यूर वर्किंग ऑन एंड देन इट विल अलाउ सो दी ऑथराइजेशन विल बी सक्सेसफुल ओके वंस दिस इज डन दिस बटन विल बी कनेक्टेड सी इट इज नाउ यू हैव टू फिल इन अ लॉन्ग लिस्ट ऑफ डिटेल्स इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी फॉर यू टू फिल इन एवरीथिंग ओनली द वंस वेयर रिक्वायर्ड विथ रेड कलर इज रिटर्न बिफोर देम यू हैव टू फिल इन यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड दैट दे आर मैंडेटरी फील्स नाउ वी हैव द फर्स्ट नेम सेकेंड नेम द ई मेल एड्रेस एंड दी मोबाइल नंबर दीज आर दी ओनली डिटेल्स वी हैव सो ओनली लुक फॉर दोज डिटेल्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सो वैन यू स्क्रोल डाउन यू विल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फाइन द फर्स्ट नेम सो वे आर यू गोइंग टू एंटर द फर्स्ट नेम फ्रॉम फ्रॉम टेक्सट फॉर मैटर बिकॉज इन हियर इन स्ट्राइप न्यू कस्टमर स्टेप यू आर हैविंग द कम्बाइंड नेम सो फ्रॉम टेक्सट फॉर मैटर यू विल टेक द फर्स्ट नेम देन हियर यू हैव द लास्ट नेम सो अगेन द लास्ट नेम विल बी टेकन फ्रॉम द फॉर मैटर ओनली then you have the email address so email address we were having over here either you can scroll down or you can just type something in search and map data which is related to what you're looking for and then like we have the phone number so in case of phone number you can again enter the phone number hint and here it is so all of this is done now see if there is any field where required is written over it these were the important fields now no required field is left so just click on save and send test request and you will receive the response right here see it's here save it because no error is shown if there is any error you can correct it then and there there's no error so we'll go to our hubspot account and look for our contact that a new contact has been added or not and here we have the new contact this is the name email address and the phone number which means that our workflow has been a success it was an easy one our trigger application was stripe where we used the webhook url to connect our pably connect and stripe account then we received this response when we were creating a contact we used the text formatter to split the name the first name and last name and then we added the details in hubspot crm and the contact was created so this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect if you have any issue regarding pably you can email us at support@pably.com you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you